welcome to today's video and today's video content is about Lee Jong Yoon's fan meet which was yesterday at Samgyong Art Center. So, how did I get in there? By a streaming, guys. My friend who's now in Korea was the one who watched the fan meet and he did a streaming yesterday during the event and it was under Mixler which was the username Sokjinye. So he was the one who did the streaming yesterday and thank you for those who streamed on his account yesterday at Mixler and also to the fellow streamers yesterday who's, who made the event possible for non-attendees non to actually just stream. So thank you for that. And it was a fun experience, I gotta say, even though I was just on streaming yesterday. It was amazing. I can't believe that I was like, I was in there, but not so physically. I was just listening through my phone, and it's amazing how it went out yesterday. So kudos to everyone who were at the fan meet, and also kudos to Jong Yun who actually made the fan meet more fun. And it really ex exceeded our expectations because we thought Jong Yun would be so quiet like, on how he was on TV, but his demeanor changed when he was just with the fans and it's just so fun to feel like it's just like a normal setting where you're just hanging out with him in and maybe in a studio because he's just playing a guitar he was doing a lot of things and it was fun it was fun so it's also a good thing that it was arranged near his birthday because his birthday is may 15th so it's just a day away and we were so excited we were having fun um there was cake for him and there were fan projects the fan pro fan projects were so amazing thank you to those amazing admins who made the fan projects possible and to do to the donors and yeah so um the fan meet wasn't allowed to do videos at whatnot at first half of it because the security was quite tight but when the birthday cake came out, according to fans and according to my friend, then that's where they started pulling out their phones, taking pictures and whatever. So that's where the rest of the family were able to actually take more videos of him singing, um, playing the guitar and whatnot, and also other things. My friend was actually doing continuous shots of him during the time. You can actually hear it from his screaming, the, the streaming. I mean, there was a continuous shots rolling, like click, 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 and I was like, okay, he's busy. But yeah, so it was amazing uh, seeing some of those very, very fun moments. And there were fun in games also. One of the games where, uh, were they were given a banner where there's A and B, where you're gonna guess which is the correct answer for Jong Yoon. And he wasn't able to win this game, but. He was able to share some of the facts, and here are some of the facts. Um, Jung Yun likes cafe latte. Jung, he likes cake. He likes the color black. He likes chamdon. I can't remember what's chamdon, but he also likes movies. He likes electric guitar. He likes hip hop, and he likes fishing. Of course, we know he likes fishing. He always shows that on Instagram. But anyway, so there were Polaroids distributed as well. Um, there are five winners for the Polaroids. They're lucky. Congratulations. And then there were some Q&As, which was a random Q&A session with jong -un and the fans. So one of which, this is one of my favorite highlights ever of the family. Because my friend who was streaming that fan meet was able to get jong -un's attention. So what happened was, um, one of fan A was asking a question about something and then Jong Yoon was answering the question. My friend thought he was done or she was done asking the question. He suddenly raised his hand and then pulled it back because he was supposed to continue the sentence but then Jong Yoon saw him and he just said, what's your question? And we were in legit tears yesterday because oh my god! After so many years of loving the boys we weren't expecting that we he would get noticed like we were just expecting to just lay back and chill you know just be normal but then again you just want you just want to like ah you just want to scream like oh my god he just noticed me and it means everything oh my god i can't even believe myself up, up until now that jong just noticed him it's amazing it's amazing 
it's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it was, and my friend's question was, it, um, will there be a fan meet in the Philippines? That was his question, and Jong Yoon actually answered. Uh, there will be, but the PH fans would have to wait. So, brace yourself, guys. There might be a possibility. Brace yourself. Hold on tight, you guys. And we're really waiting for it to happen. Um, and it's it's just... <sighs> After hearing that, when he was actually talking to Jong Yoon over, over the fan meet, I was just like in legit tears crying in one corner of our office because I was at work that day too. So I was just, I was one of the streamers and I was just crying legitimate tears from yesterday. I was like, oh my god, he just got noticed. <laughs> but it's a great feeling because after loving the boys for so many years, we finally got this wonderful moment to cherish and to love. So yeah, it was amazing and. He was able to get a lot of goodies as well from different fan sites, and he was able to buy some official merch. Don't get um, don't get me too excited, but uh, I just can't help it. I, so he bought a mug, a photo card, fan, the clear fan from the fan meet, and I was able to get one as well. And um, what else? He was able to get a lot of fan site goodies too, and uh, it was amazing. So. Um, question was, uh, no, there was no question. Anyway, so there were three streamers. One of them is my friend, Sok Jin Yen. There was one from Thailand, and there was another one. I can't remember the username of that streamer. So, but what from what I remember, there were three streamers from yesterday's fan meet. So thank you to all of the streamers yesterday. Thank you to my very lovely friend, Sok Jin. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... And also, what else? Um, let's wait for the fan meet of the two. <laughs> let's wait for them, Jung Shin and Min Yuk. By the way, so according to the to Jung Yoon during the fan meet as well, um, the guys, the rest of them already have their schedules of military enlistment, while Jung Yoon is still waiting for his enlistment. So there will be, there are already enrolled for military enlistment, but the schedule is not yet confirmed. So we're still waiting for the enlistment of them and let's just hope and pray for their safe return after serving um young has already started his last march 5th so let's just hold on to that so let me go through my twitter where i kind of spazzed a lot heavily yesterday <laughs> i don't know where to begin but there were a lot of retweets from it and it was just amazing uh what else what else what else what else there were a lot Oops, let me just fix my Twitter for a moment. Uh, there are a lot of questions from yesterday, and uh, wait, uh, there's a lot. I'm sorry, I'm just go I'm just scrolling to everything, and oops. What? Oh yeah. Ah! I think Twitter just broke on me. <laughs> but yeah, there were a lot of questions from yesterday. And one of them was the ideal type. What is your ideal type? So let me just go through the hashtag from yesterday. Oops, something went wrong. My Wi-Fi just failed me. Okay, so there were some questions about what is your ideal type of a girl. But there are also some funny moments as well. And he kept playing the guitar, by the way, you guys. But he goes back and forth with some of his songs. There were a lot of requests for him to play some of the songs. And one of the most favorite was Te Saranga or My Love from A Gentleman's Dignity, which is such a good song. It was also written by him. And it was his verse, very first solo debut. And it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. So here was a question if he would have started a solo album in Korea because he already did start in Metropolis in Japan. But according to him during the fan meet, he didn't want to do a solo album in Korea. If ever there will be a chance, he would just go with the group 
And I think to him that's quite wonderful to hear because I don't know. It's his opinion. I don't know what to feel about it, but we do hope that he was given a chance for a solo album because he's such a great singer. He's a great composer, and he already did started with Japan. So I do hope um Korea would there would be like maybe an album or two for him out, or maybe just give him a chance to have a solo album. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm quite happy for that. And what else? What else? There were a lot of questions. My Twitter just broke down on me. I can't get the tweets. I'm sorry, you guys, but yeah, it was amazing. Now we're just waiting for the two of them, Minyak and Jungshin, for their own fan meet, their own fan cafe. Uh, I just can't believe it. It just so happened. Ah! I'm just excited. Anyway, thank you guys for all of the streamers yesterday, for Sokjin, and also to the others who started the stream yesterday. Thank you for streaming as well. Let's hope for another one. For the next members, and oh my god, if you have any questions or answers, you can just leave me a DM on my Twitter, or you can just comment here in the comment section down below, and I'll answer them for you. But yeah, so I do have my channel, self promoting. I'm sorry, but yeah, I still have my main channel, which I haven't posted the content yet because I was so busy with work, and also I'm trying to figure out how to make it um quite okay for the viewers also. But I already had it uploaded. I'm just wait. I'm just thinking of something to add up. Anyway, that's just that's for the other content. So yeah, uh, I hope to see you then. And <laughs> let's pray for their own safe return, all of the boys and all of the artists as well. Besides C M Lu, Super Junior, all of the K artists who are now serving their military service. Let's hope and pray for their safe return. So yeah, thank you guys. Bye bye.